Tonight, Paul Bryan is out as Mobile's police chief. The Mobile City Council voted unanimously to terminate him late this afternoon at Mayor Sandy Stimson's request. Prine has been on administrative leave since April 9th, and ever since, this, this has been publicly outspoken with accusations against the Stimson administration. NBC 15's Andrew Ramey joins us now live at Government Plaza, where the vote took place. Andrew, Prine was there for today's vote. Yeah, that's right, Kim. And Prine says he's not at all surprised by the vote this afternoon. He says um, that's based on just uh, comments that council members have made. Uh, he says, in fact, he's surprised it took this long to terminate him. The chief is appointed by the mayor, but to be hired or fired, it takes five votes from the council. The mayor made the request to fire him as uh, after reaching an impasse on a severance agreement with Prine. Brian says he could not agree to a one-way non-disparagement clause that would have prevented him from speaking publicly and negatively about city leaders. Simpson initially put him on leave after what he called a communications breakdown between Prine and the cyber commander and troubling information in a recent use of force report on the department that evaluated deadly encounters with police last year. Prine and the mayor both spoke to the press after the vote. It's not over. Uh, I, I think that the administration believes that this is over, but it's certainly not over. Uh, and there's more information to come. I won't play my hand today, but there's definitely more information to come. Do you have anything to say to the rank and file out there that uh, has worked for you? So I will tell the uh, all the members of the Mobile Police Department is continue doing your job and remember this mission first. It's not about the chief. It's not about uh, the politics. It's about serving and protecting the community. The vote by the city council today to terminate Paul Prime, you know, it was a last resort, and I regret that it had to happen. Uh, while it was a necessary vote today, there are no winners today. This whole saga has damaged the reputation of several career employees who have done nothing wrong. It has caused strife and division within the city, and it has tarnished the image of the city. And at the end of the day, uh, what we will do is we will go from here and what we have been doing is we're prayerfully seeking God's face and we will develop a transparent path forward so that everybody knows the direction that we're going in. Now, a previous severance offer that Simpson had made to Prine uh, would have allowed him to continue to work for about 18 more months so that Prine could draw his full retirement benefits. Prine says that that decision is costing him $18,000 a year, but he says it's a decision that uh, he does not regret and that he will sleep just fine tonight. Reporting live at Government Plaza, Andrea Ramey, NBC 15 News. Andrea, thank you. NBC 15 will continue covering this crisis in the police department. We have all of our stories and full interviews posted on our website, mynbc15.com under Department in Crisis. You can also download our NBC 15 News app and sign up for push alerts for breaking news on the go. It's free. Just scan the QR code on your screen to get started.